Hello, this is going to be a brief overview on how to use the virtual networking portal for the Americas Conference on Information Systems. You should have received a username and password and a link to access the portal in your email. Once you go to the login page, you will put in your username and password. The first time you log in, it's going to ask you to set your own password and we'll also have you select the time zone that you are in. Once you log in, you will see the main call to action items here on the main page and the menu option here on the left-hand side. The first thing we highly suggest is that you go to the upper right-hand corner. You can go to your profile settings and you can update both your personal and organizational data. It will default to your personal data and we will have this populated with your registration information. And from there, you can add additional info like your location, biography, keywords, and social media links. Then you will just hit save here at the bottom and the same process you'll do for your organizational or company information. You can upload your company logo, biography, and social media links here. Just make sure you hit save down here at the bottom. The service also allows you to upload documents and videos, which you can do over here on the left-hand side. The videos will need to be publicly formatted videos, so on Vimeo or YouTube. You can also upload product data through here, photos, and then here at the bottom left, you'll see settings. This is where you can turn on and off your communication settings and also update your time zone if you need to. Just again, make sure that you hit save. We'll go ahead and go back to the homepage and we will go through the main call to action items. So here on the upper left, you can see your agenda. So if you go ahead and click on that, you can see the days of the conference and the bubbles here at the top. You can click on the different bubbles to filter the days and you have search options here at the top and then advanced search options over here. You'll have each of your sessions or the sessions for the day listed in each of the bubbles that you click. At any point, you can add or remove something to your personal calendar by clicking this and adding it. And as you can see, it will auto populate here on the right hand side. All of these sessions are clickable. So if you find a session that you are interested in, you can click on it and see all of the information here. You can also scroll down and see moderators and speakers, presentations, comments, and notes. Then in the details for this particular one, there are links to all of the individual papers. So just by clicking on them, you can go to those papers, which are stored in the AIS e-library. Lastly, as we get closer to the event, here on the right-hand side, you will see a button that will say join session. This link will take you to a Zoom session, which is where all of the paper sessions will be live streamed. So again, this blue link that you will see uh, once we put in the website or the Zoom information will be available to take you to the sessions once they begin. So we'll go back to the home page. Now here, you can see that if you go to the menu, you can scroll to all of these options and there's profiles. So if you click on profiles, this is everyone who is in the session, um, speaking, who's attending, all of their profile information. You have the search option up here if you're looking for someone specific and the advanced search options again. Everyone's name is clickable. So you can go ahead and click on their name. It will give you their name, their company information, their about, there's a wall, and then you can also take notes on their profile if you are interested. Up here in the upper right, you can see you can add this person to your favorites, message them, request to meet with them, and then these three dots here also have more communications options. So if you're interested in messaging this person, you'll just go ahead and click on message me. And as you can see, no contact information will show up. It will just go out as an email or a push notification through the event hub itself. If you're doing a meeting request, you'll have this information to fill out. So you'll click the day you're hoping to meet with this person, how long you would like this uh, meeting to last, the location, the time. So all of the times shown will be mutually available time slots. 
And then the rest is just like an email. You'll have a subject line and a description, and then you will just hit invite. And the person you're inviting will get a notification. If we go back to the home page, on these main call to action items, you can see session chairs, sponsors, exhibitors, there's Career Connect. Um, when that comes up, you can definitely just click in there and you'll be able to attend that session. Over here on the left are your menu items. So if you're interested in who is speaking, you can go and find the session chairs on who's hosting each of the paper sessions similar to profiles. Also back here, you have the AMSYS Cafe. So to enter the AMSYS Cafe, you'll just go ahead and click here. You also can come over to the menu page and click it over here. And this is a great place to network and meet fellow conference attendees virtually. We have a social thread or social feed. So this is where you can upload videos, upload photos and documents. You can tell your story of what you're looking to accomplish while at the event or even post event. It works just like Facebook or Instagram. And then you can also search throughout the feed as well. Over here in our menu bar, you do have the option of going to messages, which when you send a message will show all of the messages that you have sent. You can send multiple meeting requests through here. So you can just click this to export any of the messages you would like. And then to add, message someone, you'll type in their name and do it through there. You can send individual or group messages, but if you are sending a message to a group or to multiple people, just know that everyone that you're sending it to will receive it at the same time. Again, this menu bar has more options for you to see. And then if you click home, you'll see the main call to action items here, more information and videos for any questions you may have. So that is a quick run through on how to use the AMSYS Event Hub. If you have any questions, you can contact support in the upper right hand corner. There are also a user guide, or you could email support at jujuma.com with any questions. Thank you very much.